Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. When we think about environmental engineering, we often think about things like air quality, trash, pollution, and alternative energy. But there's one area that's often overlooked and that's water. Now, I might be saying this because I'm pretty biased since I work for the state water board and where I currently live in California, it's been known to have droughts and is like water scarce all the time. But besides that being the case, in this video I'm going to explain why I think water is a better focus for environmental engineering. So if you're ever indecisive about which field or focus to get into when it comes to like environmental engineering, I hope that this can persuade you to lean towards water. So with that being said, let's get into the video. The first reason is that water is essential for all life. Water is necessary for all living organisms to survive, making it a fundamental resource that we cannot live without. This makes it a critical priority for environmental engineers to ensure that our water resources are clean, safe, and accessible for both humans and wildlife. Now I know you might make the argument that, well, air quality is also important because we all breathe in air and we all produce trash on a daily basis, and that's also true. They're all interconnected. You know, when it rains, however, water can clean the air. Now there's no more visible smog. When it rains, trash can also travel down the storm drain or be noticeably visible as it's floating by. So as you can see, water will affect these two as well. Now the second reason is that water pollution can have widespread impacts. Pollution of our water resources can also have a cascading effect on the environment, harming not only aquatic life, but also impacting ecosystems, agriculture, and ultimately human health. Contaminated water can also lead to food shortages and economic disruption, particularly in areas that heavily rely on fishing or agriculture. Third on the list, water scarcity is becoming more of an issue. As our population continues to grow and climate change disrupts precipitation patterns, water scarcity is becoming more of a problem in many areas of the world. This makes it essential for environmental engineers to focus on technologies and solutions to increase the availability of clean water, as well as conservation efforts to reduce water usage. And fourth on the list, water is a vital resource for many industries. Many industries, including agriculture, manufacturing, and energy production, heavily rely on water resources. This makes it essential to ensure that these industries are not polluting our water resources and are using water efficiently and more sustainably. So obviously, if you're an industry that's like dumping out hazardous waste into a water or a stream where people use that river to actually drink water from, then that could be an issue. And in the drought-heavy states like California, for example, where we don't really have much water, if that's the only river that's being used to collect drinking water and an industry just happens to pollute it, then there's no safe way of getting water reliably. So overall, water is a critical resource that impacts nearly every aspect of our lives and the environment. By prioritizing water in environmental engineering, we can work towards a more sustainable future that ensures clean, safe, and accessible water resources for everyone. So while air quality, trash, pollution, and alternative energy are all important areas for environmental engineering, water is arguably the most critical. By protecting and preserving our water resources, we can ensure a healthy and sustainable future for ourselves and our planet. So that's all for this short video. I really just wanted to point out that water is really important because, well, not only the fact that I you know, work for the state, but because it really is a crucial part of all human life. The fact that life is only available because of water. So just look at outer space, for example. We're looking at planets that have water, and if they do have water, then we can probably say that there maybe will be life or there was life before. So because our main priority is looking for water, then water can sustain life. Now, without clean water on this planet Earth, then we can't really preserve life as long as we'd want to. So hopefully this was enough to persuade you that water is really important. Next on the list would probably be air quality, but you know, that's a whole separate video. Again, in this video, I just want to emphasize the importance of water. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.